and welcome back to another Taylor Tuesday. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Taylor and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I did want to start this really quickly because I have not addressed this yet in a YouTube video. Um, but for those of you who have never seen Breaking Bad, um, there's a guy, he's like the main character, his name is Walter White and one time uh, me and my friend Melissa were talking about like Instagram names and YouTube names and stuff like that. And she was like, oh my gosh, what if you were Taylor, not Walter White? And anyways, I just thought it was the funniest thing ever because my last name is White. And so um, that is where my YouTube name comes from, just in case anybody had, was like, oh, that's a weird name. That's just kind of, just kind of a play on words there. Um, but in today's video, uh, if you can't tell by my sparkly accessory, um, Today is actually the Disney tag, and I am so excited because I am a huge, huge Disney lover. Um, I have loved Disney since I was little. I have been to Disney World a couple of times, and I'm going back in December to hopefully vlog it. Um, and I just can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to go back. So without further ado, let's start right into this video. Um, I just have a list of questions here um, on this iPhone that I'm gonna, gonna kind of read off. So. Um, the first one says, what is your favorite animal? Um, and I guess we're talking about, like, true, like, Disney animal. Um, my favorite is probably Simba. I love Simba, um, and I'll get kind of into that later into this video of what made me kind of fall in love with the Lion King and Simba all over again as an adult. Um, but he is my favorite, like, Disney animal. Um, it says, number two, who is your favorite character? Um... Probably Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Um, I love her. I have loved her since I was little. Um, and I have loved meeting her in Disney World. I've met her a couple of times. And she's just, uh, she's just wonderful. She's beautiful and just absolutely wonderful. So, favorite Disney classic. Um, hmm. I don't think I'm not sure if this means like classic movie or like classic character like a part of the fab five um so we're talking about just classic like classic Disney movies like back from the 90s when like we were growing up and things like that um my favorite is probably like favorite movie like classic movie is probably Fantasia um it's kind of weird but uh I really like Sorcerer Mickey and um so that is probably my favorite like classic Disney movie um and then if you're talking about classic character like part of like the fab five or um anything like that actually I'd say like my she's not really part of the fab five but I love Daisy Duck um I think she's just so sassy and she's so cute and um she's just got this like attitude about her and I just love her I think she's great um number four it says who's your favorite hero um Probably either uh, Hercules, because I really love that movie, and I, I really love Hercules, but I also have really gotten into The Incredibles recently. Um, I love Elastigirl. We just saw Incredibles 2. It was wonderful. So, um, or well, I guess the, the next question is, who's your favorite heroine? So, um, well, actually, I guess my favorite heroine would really be Moana. Um, I love that movie. I love Moana. I think she is great. Um, I sing, uh, Moana theme song in the car, like, an embarrassing amount. So, um, like, her, her main song in the movie, as well as Maui's main song in the movie. Um, if you can't wrap that, are you, do you even Disney, though? So, um, anyways, uh, Favorite love song is probably either Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid, but I am a huge uh, Frozen fan. My dog's name is Elsa, um, so I do love Love is an Open Door. Um, I've been trying to make Tyler learn the words so he can sing it with me in the car. Um, give this video some likes if you'd want to see that on YouTube. He'd probably never let me post that. Like, probably never. But hit me up if you'd like to see that. <laughs> okay, here it is. Here this is. Favorite original character. So like I said, is Daisy Duck. Um, favorite Pixar film is probably 
Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory. I really, um, I really resonate with Dory because sometimes I'm kind of ditzy or like I forget things or I don't know. And she just has such a positive attitude and she just like keeps it going. Um, I love Ellen DeGeneres. I, she's one of my favorite people to watch like as far as like stars and things like that go. Um, I love her. So I'm a big Ellen fan. I love Finding Nemo. Um, favorite prince is, of course, Prince Eric, obviously. Um, although I do love Kristoff from Frozen. Hopefully we are considering him a Disney prince. Uh, yeah, I love Kristoff as well. Um, favorite princess is, of course, The Little Mermaid. Um, I'd say that Snow White is a close second and Princess Anna, they're kind of like the seconds, but... Favorite of favorite is Ariel. Um, okay, so favorite quote is um, kind of like overlooked, I guess, because technically it's in a song, so it's technically a lyric. But it's from The Little Mermaid where Sebastian goes, life is the bubbles under the sea, the life is the bubbles part. Um, just because I think that's so much fun. And I, I really try to love life and enjoy life and... Um, just I, I don't know it's just a perfect quote to kind of go along um with how I try to live life so um favorite sequel is actually The Little Mermaid 2 um if you can't tell I'm really like Ariel obsessed but I really did think that was a good movie um I liked Melody I thought she was great um I liked the villain Morgana I think that was her name um so yeah, that was my favorite sequel. Um, my favorite sidekick is 110% Olaf. Um, I absolutely adore Olaf. I think that he is so cute and he's so fun and he's so faithful and loyal. Um, but really what just kind of like drew me to Olaf, I actually have like a little Olaf that sits um, on my shelf in front of my TV in my bedroom that I got from Walt Disney World when I went last year. Um, is that he was the first character I met in Walt Disney World uh, last year when me and my dad went. I met him in Hollywood Studios, and I believe, I hope so much, because I really like to meet him again. Um, I think you can meet him kind of like right next to the Frozen sing-along in Hollywood Studios. Um, but I had just graduated nursing school, and it was like my graduation trip, and I had a little button that said like, I graduated nursing school. And he so he gave me his arm, and he was like giving me kisses and he was just so loving and the character attendants were like maybe she can start an i tree on you instead of an iv and it was just the best experience ever it was probably my favorite character experience that i've ever had and definitely of that trip um i uh really really love olaf so he's too cute um favorite song oh man like, favorite Disney song. That's so hard. I'm just going to list a couple of my favorites. I don't think I have, like, a true favorite. Um, I love Part of Your World by Ariel, of course. Um, and Under the Sea by Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. But I love, and of course I love, uh, you know, Let It Go from Frozen. But I really love the songs from Moana. Like, I, I really, really thought they were just so good. They were just so good. Um... So those are a couple of my favorite songs. Um, favorite theme attraction. Okay, so this is really overlooked. And I get nervous because I feel like they are going to take it away uh, soon. Because I feel like it's not a big attraction. But is Disney's Fill Our Magic. I I am not a big, like, we don't really ride rides um, at Walt Disney World. Which is a very unpopular opinion. I've already heard. But, um, I just get really motion sickness. Like, when I was little, I had to, like, take Dramamine, like, any time before I got in the car. Like, it was really, um, it was just, it was just bad when I was younger. And I just, I just can't do, like, the big, like, rides, um, at Walt Disney World. I, yeah, I just really don't do the big rides at Walt Disney World. So, I love Disney's Fill Our Magic. It has all of my favorite characters in it. Um, I love... Donald Duck because I love Daisy um and my dad loves Donald Duck and it's just it's so good you guys like I'm so nervous they're gonna get rid of it because it's not a big attraction anymore but um I I love it I this is my favorite thing 
Uh, favorite Disney theme park is, of course, Magic Kingdom. Um, I just love the castle. I love Main Street. There's so much to do. Like, there's so much to see. Like, there's so many princesses to meet. And I love to meet the princesses because I'm a five-year-old child on the inside. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's, I love Magic Kingdom. Um, favorite theme park show is actually not in Magic Kingdom, and this is kind of tying into what I was talking about earlier. So, um, I was a huge theater kid. I loved, uh, theater in high school, so I really appreciate shows and theatrical events and things like that, especially at Disney. And, um, we saw in Animal Kingdom, uh, sorry, I had to think about that for a second. In Animal Kingdom, um, The Lion King, and it it's it is breathtaking like if you have not if you if you go to Disney and you go to Animal Kingdom like you have got to make time for that show like it is beautiful it is breathtaking it is just phenomenal like the colors and the costumes and the dancing and the singing like it's just it's a musical version of the Lion King and it is just mind-blowing like I was just like sobbing the whole time um so I actually got as well a little Simba plushie uh, because I just had fallen in love with that musical and I can't wait to see it when we go back in December. Um, this says favorite villain is Ursula um, and the next, well, so my favorite villain is 110% Ursula. Um, I don't know why I like Ursula so much. I think just because she is like a plus size Disney villain, but she's like, purple and she's just like just I don't know she's just she's just my favorite I'm obsessed with the Little Mermaid and um she's just my favorite Disney villain but the next question says your favorite villain song and I really do like Ursula's theme song of poor unfortunate souls um but my all-time favorite Disney villain song is from um Tangled and Rapunzel is another, she's actually probably my favorite, second favorite Disney princess. Um, but the song that her mom sings is my favorite, like it's one of my favorite Disney songs. And I just, I love it. I love that movie. Um, I actually saw it three times in theaters when it came out. So I'm a big um, Tangled fan. So, um, let's see. Least favorite Pixar film um, is I don't even know if this was done with Disney, but it's probably The Bug's Life. I just, I don't know. Actually, it was done with Disney because um, they have a Bug's Life show in Animal Kingdom. And I'm just, I'm just not a Bug's Life fan. I know everybody's probably like booing, but I'm just not a big Bug's Life person. So, um, yeah. Um, least favorite Disney song? I really don't have... Um, I don't have a least favorite. I'm not too crazy about that song from The Lion King that's like, can you see the love tonight? That's never been one of my favorites. And when it comes on, I'm kind of like, ah, here we go again. But, um, I mean, it's, it's fine. I guess that's, I guess you could consider that, uh, my least favorite. So, um, movie that makes you cry. Um, <laughs> all of them because they all begin sadly. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but like probably Bambi and, um, the Lion King, um, the part in Frozen in the beginning where they lose their parents. Oh, but the one that's the, gets me like absolutely like the most out of any of the Disney, um, in any of the Disney movies is 110% when Moana loses her grandmother I can't handle it. I can't watch it. I'm very close to my grandmother. She's still alive and well at 84. She is cute and perfect, and I love her. And so I can't handle that part. I can't handle that part of the movie. Um, let's see. Movie that makes you laugh is Monsters, Inc. I think Mike Wazowski is so funny. I love that movie. And something else that I kind of had read in the Disney community. Sorry, my ears are, like, falling off. Um, was... There is in Tomorrowland, I think it's in Tomorrowland and Magic Kingdom, um, is Mike's Laugh Floor, is I think, or Laugh Lounge, it's, it's something called the Laughs, Mike's Laugh, it's a, it's based off of Mike Wazowski and it's like, 
this really cute little like interactive audience show um with Mike and the monsters and they make jokes and I just think it's so funny and I had read I had seen online where people were like don't waste your time it's not that good of an attraction but I really really love it and I really want to do a video um maybe after we go to Disney or right right before of like kind of like I don't know like handicap friendly um rides and attractions at Disney World or like rides and attractions that you can do that are not necessarily like roller coasters and rides because I know a lot like my grandmother um you know has a lot of troubles like walking far distances so um you know we can't do a lot of the big attractions and like I said like me and my dad are very motion sickness I know people that go and have like little kids and little babies that can't go on the big rides so I was thinking about doing a video like that because I haven't really seen a lot of that online and I watch a lot of Disney videos so um you know give this video a thumbs up if you um if you would like to see something like that or you know let me know in the comments or that kind of thing um we are almost to the end let's see overrated movie y'all are gonna hate me for this um and I, i'm not hating on this movie i'm really not but i'm just i'm just like throwing it out there i am not that big of a toy story fan like oh uh, let the arrows fly at me i'm just i'm just i'm not a huge toy story fan like i love toy story don't get me wrong but I am just not a huge Toy Story, like, fan. It is not just, like, my absolute favorite thing in the world. Um, you know, there are, there are still, I don't know. I just feel like there are Pixar movies I like a lot more. Like, Finding Nemo and Up. And I, oh, I love that movie. I love the movie Up. And I just feel like, oh, I just kind of feel like Toy Story is overrated. I'm sorry. Don't hate me, internet. I'm sorry. Um, saddest death is definitely, uh, Mufatna from The Lion King. Um, song that always gets stuck in your head is the Maui song from Moana, You're Welcome. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is, like, he just freaking kills it. Um, yeah, definitely that song. Um, the first movie you ever saw, I'm pretty sure was The Little Mermaid. I think it was. I think that was the first, like, Disney movie I ever saw in theaters, I think. Um, the saddest scene from your favorite movie. So, my favorite movie is The Little Mermaid, and the saddest scene, to me, okay, so I know, like, the, you know, the end is pretty sad when Ariel has to go save Eric and all of that good stuff, but for me, the saddest scene is when Ariel is in her little, um, cove where she has all of her you know like gasmos and gidgets aplenty and um she has like the statue of prince eric and her dad comes in and like busts it to pieces and like leaves her like laying there crying on the rocks like i just always thought that was really sad um and the last question in this disney tag is the most underrated disney movie um I feel like the most underrated Disney movie. Hmm. Is probably Zootopia. I feel like maybe I'm wrong that it's underrated, but I feel like a lot of people don't like really remember that it's a Disney movie or really remember it like when they think about Disney movies. And I thought that was just like the best little movie. Like I thought it had a great storyline. It wasn't just like a I don't know, like a generic, like, kind of Disney storyline. Like, I just thought it was so great. It teaches you to, like, follow your hearts and just, I, I don't know. It just was so warm and fuzzy to me. I just, I love that. And I love the music in Zootopia as well. Um, I had totally jammed out to that song that plays in the end. I think it plays in the beginning as well. Um, with the gazelle sings. I think that's actually Shakira singing. But, um... Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this Disney tag. I absolutely love Disney content. I love Disney videos, and I hope to put out a lot more Disney content in the future. Um, I did want to take a quick second to shout out my ears. They are from Walt Disney World. Um, I got them last year when I went for vacation. I do not think you can get them anymore, but they are just like sparkly, like Disney 
the plush ears and then a big like plush bow that's blue with like moons on it um to be honest i didn't really like any of the ears that much when i went the last time um and these were the best ones that i saw but um of course i've been stalking the disney shop parks app and seeing what all the ears they've been coming out with and i cannot wait to go in december and get some christmas ears and some other ears because these are um the only pair of ears that i own so um also i'm gonna be getting some artwork to hang back up here on the wall um just because i know that like like you can i don't know it's just not a good background so i am working on it but um anyways thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button down below it really helps me out i hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful day and i will see you next time next taylor tuesday